Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the Breville 920 Dual Boiler. The 920 offers one of the best values available on the double boiler market. To demonstrate the machine, I'm going to make two sets of drinks. I'm going to make a double shot of espresso and then I'm going to make two milk based drinks. I'm also going to discuss the many features of the Breville 920. The Breville Dual Boiler is a well thought out machine. Breville engineers put a lot of time and effort into making their machines innovative and easy to use. There's a lot of features on the dual boiler that just aren't found on other machines. Things like the water tank. The water tank is very easily accessible. You open this door here at the top and you can pour water in from a jug or from your water source and it goes into the water reservoir. The reservoir can also be removed from the back. There's a latch and it can be pulled out and you can take that to your water source or you can clean it. Also very nice is this water indicator here. Here you can actually see how much water is left in your water tank and whether it's time to refill. These are all really neat innovative features that make the Breville dual boiler easy to use. Another unique feature that Breville has is the tamper storage. There's a metal base tamper that's stored right here and it's held in place using a magnet. So you can just remove it, tamp your coffee and put it back for safe and neat storage. As the name indicates, this is a dual boiler machine, so you have instant access to steam for your milk-based drinks if you want to froth some milk. The steam is on the right-hand side here, and it uses an actuator which has a very smooth and easy motion, and you can actually open it gradually if that's what you like, and move up all the way to full power, and it really is easy and a pleasure to use. If you need hot water for a Americano or for a tea, uh, the hot water is controlled using this knob on the left hand side. You simply open it and the water comes out of the nozzle here on the right and once you have enough, you just close it. We discover even more unique features behind the drip tray. The drip tray comes out very easily and it is quite a large size drip tray so you don't have to empty it that often. And what we'll see back here is this wheel here. And this wheel has a feature that I've never seen in any other machine, but what it does is I turn it into the unlocked position and the machine raises and it's actually on wheels. Uh, so I can move it back and forth. If you have the machine underneath a cabinet, this is useful if you want to pull it out for cleaning or something like that. Uh, it's, it's a very uh, unique and neat feature. And then when I put it back, back into the locked position, uh, the machine is now uh, sturdy in place. Back here we'll also find a tool storage and this can be used to put you know small little tools like to clean the steam wand or cleaning tablets or if you just want to hide something from your spouse it's also a great spot to put it. Finally I'd like to go over the many programming features of the Breville dual boiler. First let's go over the main menu and this is when the machine is on and running. You press the menu button and the first option is the shot volume and you, you can program your single and your double cup and the way you do this is by simply pressing either the single or here I have the double selected I would press the double button and I would program my shot volume with coffee and it will repeat the next time. The next option is the shot temperature I have it set to 200 degrees Fahrenheit uh, but you can set that to whatever you like that's the boiler temperature. The third option is auto start and you can actually program the dual boiler to start automatically in the morning so it's ready when you want to have a cup of coffee uh, when you wake up. The next option is to do the cleaning cycle and this basically runs, uh, you put in a tablet into the uh, portafilter and it runs a cleaning cycle, back flushes the machine and then the final option is to set the clock uh, and you, you would set your time and that's needed of course for the auto start. The dual boiler also has programmable pre-infusion. Pre-infusion allows you to wet your grinds at a lower pressure prior to subjecting it to the full pressure of the pump. And we access the pre-infusion settings by pressing the down and up button together. And you'll see here I can change my pre-infusion. It's currently set at five seconds, uh, but it can be changed. You can turn it off, you can go to zero, or you can go to whatever you like. Normally about five seconds is, uh, is normal. Five to ten seconds uh, is, is a normal pre-infusion time. And then you press the exit button to leave that menu. Finally, I'd like to show you the advanced settings. To get into the advanced menu, you turn the machine off. 
and then you hold the single cup button and press the power button at the same time. And this will show you the advanced settings. The first option is reset. This resets the machine to factory settings. If you've made a mistake or if you're unsure, you can do this and the machine will go back to factory settings. The next option is the descale. This is if you want to descale the machine. I'm not going to be doing that now. The third option, you can change your um, degree setting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And I actually am going to change this because I'm in Canada and we use Celsius here, so I prefer that. And I'll change it over to Celsius and you can see now I have it at 91 degrees Celsius. We also have a couple of other settings in the advanced menu which I'm not going to go over right now. There are things like you can disable the sound on the machine, you can change the volume metric settings, etc. Now after all that, let's make some drinks. Alongside the Breville, I'm using a Chiaro E37J grinder. E37J is very quiet and it's a great companion to your uh, Breville dual boiler or any pros, uh, prosumer level machine really. Take my tamper and we'll begin the extraction. I have my pre-infusion set to five seconds and after five seconds you hear the pump uh, kind of uh, turning on and it's a, it's now going at full pressure. You can see on the pressure gauge here, which is also included on the dual boiler, I've got about nine bars of pressure, which is what you want for a shot of espresso. And you can see I'm getting a nice extraction with good crema. And there you go. And finally, I'm going to make a milk based drink. I'm also going to do, I'm going to split the shots. I'm going to make two cappuccinos or two lattes, put these here and I'm going to press the uh, double shot button in just a second, but first I'm just going to purge a little bit of steam out of my steam wand. And this is a dual boiler, so of course we can do both functions at the same time. The steaming power on the 920 is impressive. It's got an ample sized boiler that produces good steam. and moves the milk very nicely. Stop it right there. Wipe my wand. Purge. And just add my milk. One. And there's the second one right there. Super simple. As we've seen, the Breville Dual Boiler is a very capable machine. In fact, it's impossible to match this feature set at this price. The value is off the charts. If you have any questions about the Breville Dual Boiler or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out and ask for help. We're always ready and happy to offer it. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about espresso machines, coffee machines, and everything to do with coffee. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.